They are the Samvedi police, trained impeccably in mind and body, combining values with a sense of purpose towards the people and society. Tough, yet human. Fearless, yet compassionate. Physically fit, yet never forgetting the ethical code. Competent, smart, courageous, sensitized. They are the IPS officers. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel National Police Academy stands as the central institution of the Indian Police Service. Our forefathers, our leaders, conceived of this idea of the Indian Police Service as a service which would unify the country and would impose and would implement a common legal procedure and laws all over the country. The Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel National Police Academy is the first institution of its kind in India. It has no precedence to look back upon, but has an inspiring example to set for the future generations. It has to build itself and build others. The vision of the academy is to build a cadre of exemplary police officers who will uphold the rule of law, respect national values of secularism, democracy, equality and service to the people and ensure the dignity and rights of the citizen with sensitivity. Young men and women enter the National Police Academy portals with their own apprehensions but fired with a common passion, trained to be the best of the best. Here is their story. Our mandate is to go beyond training, to transform probationers as sensitized police officers for an empowered society. The National Police Academy strives to produce police officers who symbolize the dictum men sana in corpore sano, that is, a sound mind in a sound body. The rigor of the outdoor is matched by the rigor of the indoor. Actually, the how becomes easy when the why is clear. In the academy, we don't only teach our trainees the way to do things right, but we also teach them to do the right things. The emphasis on skills is as important as emphasis on values and attitude. It's much like taking a lump of clay and molding beautiful shapes that wows the world. The journey is a holistic one, mind, body and a methodical deconstruction. The academy follows an integrated training philosophy model which strives to conduct training towards building sensitization, orientation and competency of a probationer. Sensitization towards the issues of the underprivileged sections of the society, orientation to the service of the people and professional competency to meet the needs and expectations of the people. The first thing
thing that caught my imagination at NPA was the term officer like qualities and since then NPA has made us to think what kind of officers do we want to be that the training has sort of induced me to think beyond narrow confines of self or me um and it's given me a more vantage perspective of being able to think about larger issues about society about the problems that it faces and your own role and how you sort of fit in in solving the problems and that thinking has brought in with itself a lot of varied experiences we met transgenders we met social workers we met community leaders we met sex workers and with them came varied experiences and those varied experiences helped us shape our opinion of society how society is changing and how we need to adapt to the change that is coming out the journey from colonial policing to democratic policing is complete only when the future leaders of police are sensitized to the dictum police or public and public or police we also orient them that you are one amongst them and this has to be born in the mind while dealing with any public order scenarios whatever the provocation i would appeal to you to remain cool it is the primary duty of the police he who loses his temper no longer remains a policeman our law and order simulation exercises imbibes in the minds of the probationers that while handling any kinds of demonstrations dharnas and agitations one has to follow the principles of utmost restraint negotiations warnings and non lethal protocols academy imbibes the spirit of his sayings in law and order simulations when the situation compels to use force to disperse any unlawful assembly it's always better to assess whether to use force or not how much to use when to use and to what extent to be used this will always help in dispersing a mob or an unlawful assembly peacefully Probationers are trained to produce irrefutable scientific evidence beyond any doubt for the courts to deliver justice. Rule of law, constitutional values and respect for human rights are fundamental principles on which we teach laws. The role of police in criminal justice system is taught to our trainees by organizing debates on legal issues, mock trials, crime scene simulations and moot courts. rather than teaching all the indoor and outdoor subjects independently integrated police training is a scientific model adapted by integrating the subjects so as to make the probationer understand the interconnectivity between them it simply integrates the content its context and the application the supervision of the working of a police station is an important responsibility of an ips officer in the model police station The probationers are given hands-on training on various aspects of police functioning like registration of FIR, investigation, service of summons and warrants, beat duties and counseling. The probationers assume various roles right from a sentry to a station house officer. perpetrator of a crime will bring something into the scene of crime and will leave with something from it we train our probationers by creating crime scenes and help them to identify pick pack seal 
and forward the evidence through which they can either link the criminal or the suspect to the crime or exonerate the innocent. This would mean, however clever the criminal may be, he or she would definitely leave some trace of evidence of their presence at the scene of crime. It is for you to be focused and collect them. So there will be a lot of ways in which uh, the criminal tries to hide the data. Today's crime is no longer simple. Tracking down cybercrime and cyber terrorism poses a great challenge to the law enforcement officers. IT wing of the academy makes sure that probationers learn the cyber tools necessary to investigate cyber crimes, to be prepared, to defend against them, and to bring the perpetrators to justice. The vision of smart police, where T stands for the technologically trained police, is a need of the heart. With this in mind, cyber forensics needs to be percolated down the police force so that every police officer can tackle cyber crime effectively. Probationers are acquainted with basics of field craft and tactics on urban operations, improvised explosive devices and jungle operations to handle crisis as first responders. Any disaster, whether it is natural disaster or a man-made disaster, the role of the first responders is very crucial immediately after the incident takes place. The Special Tactics Wing was created in the National Police Academy to cater to the tactical training needs of various states and CAPFs in handling LWE, counterinsurgency and counterterrorism capabilities. Jungles do not tolerate frailty of either body or mind. You show your weakness, it would consume you without hesitation. When it is coupled with enemy, it becomes further dangerous. The cardinal element of jungle warfare is maintaining an element of surprise and silence. Active learners and not the passive listeners is what we are trying to achieve while designing and delivering our indoor classes here at NPA. We primarily do this by keeping five factors in mind. Number one, generating interest in the topic. Number two, involving the probationers in the process of learning. Number three, interaction through faculty and peer-led discussion. Number four, ongoing evaluation. And number five, continuous feedback that helps us to achieve active learning. Physical fitness, endurance, stamina 
are required to work for long hours and in difficult terrains. These are inculcated in future police leaders through outdoor activities like physical training, cross-country running, rock climbing, long-distance route parties. The IPS officers need to work round the clock throughout their careers. Therefore, we focus our training on developing and nurturing the necessary emotional intelligence in our probationers so that they are equipped with the necessary fortitude to deal with tough and challenging situations. In pursuit of strengthening the bilateral relations with friendly neighborhood, National Police Academy trains officers of Nepal, Bhutan, and Maldives. After my training here, I have found out that this training it encompasses all the activities, all the roles that a police have to do, not only physically but mentally and emotionally as well. Uh, looking at the Bandabas plan, looking at how you deal with riot control, every kind of situations, I feel now more confident that I will be able to deal with such situations. And uh, even the laws, the principles here are very in depth, and which has made, uh, which has allowed me to understand the laws of my country much better. It's been a great opportunity to be trained along with the IPS professionals here for 10 long months. Uh, as we know, we uh, Nepal and India share a long porous border and the crimes, prevention in the borders, cross-border crimes and its investigation has been really a challenge for both the countries. I think the bond between the IPS professionals and now IPS officers and the officers from Nepal police will help for, this, for the prevention, uh, detection and the investigation of the border crimes. This training from the National Police Academy will strengthen the bond between Maldives Police Service and the Indian Police Service and help us in combating modern day terrorism and cross-border crimes. The strength of an institution lies in its ability to change and adapt itself in tune with the changing times. This institution evolved simultaneously with the evolution of the service to which it caters. Authoritative policing to rights-based policing. Colonial policing to democratic policing. Today, Samvedi Police, Sashakt Samaj has been adopted as the watchword by the Academy to define the training philosophy. The director and members of the faculty endeavor chiseling out sensitized police officers to serve an empowered society. As a part of career development for uh, IPS officers, NPA conducts mandatory mid-career training programs for attaining next level of competency. Phase 3 is for SP rank officers having at least 9 years of experience with a team of honing up the leadership skills. Phase 4 is for uh, DIG and IG rank officers having at least 14 to 16 years of experience with a team of innovation and strategy. Phase 5 is for uh, IGP or ADG rank officers having a 24 years of experience with the theme of change management and leadership. The National Police Academy stands today as a symbol of Sardar Vallabhai Patel's dream of an Indian police service which is the steel framework of the country unifying and protecting the country from external and internal threats.
सच्ची श्रद्धा सच्ची श्रद्धा और निष्ठा रखूंगी और निष्ठा रखूंगा लोहे जैसी हिम्मत है लोहे सा जज्बा अपना आंखों में लिए चलते हैं हम लौह पुरुष का सपना The IPS has been a great unifying factor of the country, and there are several officers who have unhesitatingly made the supreme sacrifice and laid down their lives in the course of performing their duty. What are the things one looks for in a dream job? It should be challenging, so that there are avenues of personal growth. Meaningful, so that it gives purpose to your life, and rewarding for all the hard work you put into it. And believe me, there's no better reward than what you see in the eyes of people you serve, the sense of gratitude and happiness they have. If this is your idea of work, then IPS is the dream job for you. <laughs> immense pride in my uniform and i proudly stand today passing out of this prestigious institution as an ips officer having firm belief in myself that one day i will make my uniform take pride in me har disha se chun kar aaye kuch aisa hum kar jaye vyaktitv tarashe aisa jo mulk ke kaam aa jaye academy hum proveshnars ko sirf gyan kaushal dakshita ही नहीं देती बल इस, बल्कि इसके साथ साथ वह सोच और वह नजरिया भी देती है जो कब हमें ऐसे संवेदनशील पुलिस ऑफिसर में बदल देती है जो जनता को पुलिस से और पुलिस को जनता से जोड़कर एक बेहतर समाज बना सके की अमर कहानी हर सास में हम दोहराए मेहनत कर हिम्मत से हम देश की आन बचाए सिस्टर्स Take this opportunity to transform yourselves from potential victims to protectors. Let us start taking responsibility of our lives and of those around us. Because if not us, then who? If not now, then when? We are the Indian Police Service. Join the IPS. Join the IPS. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Jai Hind.